Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 9th of September for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now. There does continue to be a huge amount of emphasis on the zodiac sign of Virgo, which of course is about detail, it's about precision, it's about being discriminating. It's about making sure that we get some kind of tangible progress from whatever energies we direct to whatever cause or situation. But this week, the Sun and Mars are forging, respectively, brilliant links with Pluto and Saturn in the other Earth sign of Capricorn. So if ever there was a time when we could transform something through hard work through industry and perspiration, this is certainly the week to go for it. Now Mercury, which rules Virgo, is in a conjunction with Venus, but then as the week draws to a close, they both switch into the sign of Libra, which brings a more relating kind of energy to bear. But Saturday also sees a full moon. Now this occurs at 1536 BST in the sign of Pisces, but it's going to be forging a sextile to, uh, to Pluto. There could be some kind of revelation. If we think about Virgo, it is about purity. Pisces is very spiritual, they're both mutable, but it's a more uh, emotional, watery influence Pisces. So it's basically saying to us that if we get so caught up in that hard work, that precision that comes with Virgo, that we take our eye off the feeling side of a situation, there could be something that needs to be realigned or rebalanced. So just watch out for that. It's also true that last week's quarter moon, which occurred in the sign of Sagittarius, is still pouring energy into your situation. It's basically saying, don't try to do too much. It's about narrowing focus, prioritising, and then we can have the most productive outcomes from the week. Your specific forecast, Libra, shows that by the week's end, your ruler Venus is going to be rejoining your sign along with Mercury. Before then, there is a full moon, but it does have a positive angle towards the planet of revelations, Pluto. So it's possible that something could come up to the surface, come into the open. There's very much to do with a balance between your obligations and responsibilities and the amount of time you have to feed your own needs. Rest and just have some moments of pause and meditation. But I think once Mercury and Venus move into your sign, as this week draws to a close, it is going to be an opportunity to feel that you're more in touch with what's good for you personally, because there has been such a collective of energy in a very psychological part of your horoscope, which may have seen you really pondering at quite a deep level exactly what you want. Now, of course, when you are unsure, that can be when you can feel that your scales just won't balance. But I think as this week draws to a close, you're going to feel much more in control of the process. If you'd like to know more about uh, personal astrology based on your time, date and place of birth, please click on the link beneath this video. You can order your year 2020 forecast and get the rest of this year free as well as your character analysis for 30% off, or choose to have a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me. But for now, good luck and goodbye.